Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another gameplay stream on Arena. Today, we're going to do a little Rav or Ravnica Murders at Karlov Manor draft here. So, welcome. I'll take a few minutes, let everybody kind of filter in. Last week, we went 7-0. So, I don't know if that's going to happen this week, but it would be nice if it didn't. But, can't count on that, but... Um, good deck last week, Boros deck. I mean, everything you would imagine a Boros deck in this format is fast, consistent. Um, we really ran over our opponents for the most part. Um, fun deck to play. Uh, we'll see what happens this time around, though. Hope everyone's having a great day out there. Great St. Patrick's Day and St. Patrick's Day weekend. Everybody in the States who celebrates and where, wherever else you celebrate. I imagine, I suppose they would in Ireland. Um. But yes, so while we're waiting to just one quick thing I wanted to throw out there. I did want to say thank you to one of our gold patrons. And that gold patron is Marcos Ong. Marcos, thank you so much for being a patron, for supporting the channel for quite some time, very long time actually. And uh, I do appreciate it. I couldn't do this without viewers like yourself. I just want to take a moment to say that. And say thank you for all your support. It does mean a ton to me, to the channel. So thank you. And um, if you're interested, if anyone's interested in checking out our Patreon page, you can do that. Links are down below. Or you can also join as a cham channel member here on YouTube as well. Um, all goes a long way to help us out, help out the channel for sure. So, All right. Let's see how we're doing here. Got a few people starting to come in. Let's see how it goes today. I'm kind of I I've had a good time with Murders at Carlisle Manor. I don't think it's the best draft format. Like <laughs> there's flaws, <laughs> but like I've had fun with it. So um, I'm looking forward to the next one. It won't be too long now before we get to Outlaws. I'm looking forward to something different, but I've had a good time with this. I've had a lot of success with this draft format in a very quick amount of time. I, I was away from Magic for a while, came back. I mean, this was the set, and, you know, the first couple of weeks just trying to get back into it wasn't the easiest thing, uh, especially playing Arena again, trying to remember everything with Arena. But, you know, the last few weeks we've been very successful. I mean, since we've been drafting this, we went 7-0 and last week. The week before, we went 6-1. and Um or no, I think we went six and three the week before. We went six and one the week before that, and I think we went seven and two the previous week, if I remember correctly. So, um, we're I mean our our numbers on the streams have been pretty good for the most part. So, we'll see how it goes today. Um, Fallout decks came out this week. I don't know. At some point, I might pick those up. I mean, they look pretty cool. I don't know if anyone out there has grabbed those yet, but. Uh, there, there's some pretty good cards in there. I like the I like the themes of the decks too. They seem like they'd be pretty fun to play. Uh, I was able to play with uh, some of the Doctor Who decks. I and I never saw Doctor Who, so like as far as the theming goes, it kind of was over my head. But I had a good time with those decks. I think they're well designed and fun to play, even out of the box, and obviously upgradable. You know, so yeah, I might try the Fallout decks. But Outlaws is the next big thing, and I am looking forward to it at this point. Um, I'd like to see a different draft format. <laughs> Something a little different. But anyway. Should we start getting into it? I know there's still people kind of coming in right now. So don't know how many we'll have to start things off. Probably until I start drafting. That might get people more into it. Um, I just one other note about new products before we start drafting. Um. Well, Clue Ravnica Edition happened too not too long ago. I mean, the less said about that, the better probably. But we talked about it a little bit last week on the stream. And I don't know. I like the idea. I feel like it was a missed opportunity. Could have been fun. But, eh, is what it is. Hopefully Outlaws will knock it out of the park. And we'll have an, a good draft format. And, I mean, this draft format, like I said, I've had fun with it. But I feel like... It is very lopsided as far as colors. Like, there are really good colors, some really bad colors, uh, good combinations, bad combinations. A lot of, like, the mechanics within certain combinations, some are, like, just strong, and others just don't even feel very playable. You do have a situation where it's, like, no matter what colors you're in, you kind of have to play fast 
or you're gonna get you're just gonna get walked over so it, it's this is the weird it is a weird draft format i feel like you if you don't play a certain way and it doesn't matter what colors you're in you're kind of in trouble <laughs> um you know once you kind of figure that out like you can do well like we've done very well in these streams but i'm i'm craving some like variety now <laughs> like i feel like i always have to play the same way so anyway like you don't want to play control build for example um in this format it, things aren't going to go well for you um aggressive deck sure is the more aggressive you can be the better so all right well having said all that i think i've uh stalled long enough <laughs> let's get into it we'll do a premiere draft um that way we won't do a draft of bots. I assume bots are just going to take all the the white and red cards. So <laughs> let's just draft with real people. All right. Let's see what we got going here. So again, to everybody coming in, coming into the stream, welcome. Appreciate y'all being here. Hopefully we'll get a few people today and have a good time. Play some draft. Last week's deck was so good. The draft wasn't easy, though. Like, we really had to pivot, like, early on in pack two to really get where we got to. But um, but it went real well. In the end, it went real well. We had a great deck. So, I don't know. Temper our expectations, I guess, this time. Let's see what happens. All right, now that's interesting. Our very first card is a great gold card. So like, usually I don't like to start off with a gold card. There's also this, which is another very good Boros card. So I'm a little worried you pass this. Someone's gonna wanna go in this direction. Um, you also have some other strong white cards here. Um, maybe not so much red on its own. You got a lot of blue. I mean, I, I <laughs> blue's fine. Like if you get the best blue cards, you're gonna have a great blue deck, but blue is hard to make work, I think. I think we just go with this. Like, I hate the first pick, a gold card, typically, but it's just very good. There's nothing else here that's like, oh, wow, like, we need this. Like, I mean, I think this is a good card, but it's called, it says Market Watch right in the title. How can I not take it? But, um, but yeah, right, like, this this isn't a first pick card either. So, yeah, let's let's just go with this and see where it takes us. So, I mean, I would like to be in Boros now, but let's see what happens. I mean, that this isn't the card that's going to keep us in Boros. I mean, Offender at Large is good. This is all right. Um, this might be the way to go, actually, because we'll, we'll have plenty of chances to get more cards like this. This one, however, yeah, I kind of like that. Anything else here I'm missing? On the job can be okay. I do like Crowd Control Warden 2, which we can play even if we don't have green. Um, and it's still early, obviously. So let's go with this. Case. Um, this could be good. That's something. I mean, if we really stay hard on the white, maybe we can kind of force some good things to come back our way. Um... Rebel Belt Braggart is good. Fanatical Strength is good if we want to go for green. I think right now, let's just keep taking the white, especially if we're getting good white cards in, at the rare spot and the uncommon spot. Let's just, let's roll with it. Um, red. Hmm. Not seeing a ton of good red. I mean, maybe we're going to go green, or maybe go white, something else. And there's a fanatical strength that might be one of the better cards here. Um, Meddler's not bad. I don't love black though in this format. If I and there's a, you know I don't know. Let's go with strength and just see what happens. What comes our way? I mean knife. I mean I don't love due diligence. It's playable if you need to though. Um, I mean wrench can be okay. I mean, here's a two-drop green creature. If we do continue with the green path, I might just do that. 
I mean, here's a two drop. Here's another like decent green creature, especially if we end up going a little deeper with colors. Which we don't know that we're doing that yet. Um Yeah, let's go with this and see what happens. Sanctuary walls okay, another strength. I don't know if we need to grab another one of those so soon. Um, we'll take this. I'm hoping I cut off white pretty good for pack two. We'll see. I mean, I'm still open to our second color. I mean, if we start getting some good red, cool. If we stick with green, I guess we stick with green. Ooh, red herring. That's a late red herring, too. Um, yeah. I think so, right? Like... And that, that one would be horrible, too, depending on what we end up doing. But I think we got to take the red herring. It's just too solid. And it came very late. That could be a signal, maybe. Now we're starting to get a little sparse. So man answers could be good in the right deck if we do end up going Boros. So I figured let's just take that just in case. But... Same thing here. If we're like all in on like borrow strategy, then that's fine. If not, well, then then we're not. <laughs> Let's see. Another strength. I mean, it's probably the best card here. Don't know if I. We'll put it inside for right now since we already have one. But depending on how removal and combat tricks go, we may move it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, we're off to a start. Let's see how pack two goes for us. Yeah, it seems a little inconsistent. <laughs> wow. This is not the best. Um, this isn't too bad if we end up going green-white... Wow, there is not a lot here for what we've started with, huh? But we'll just go with this, I guess. Let's see what the rest of the next pack brings. Like, I'm really hoping to get some good white here. I feel like we cut off white pretty effectively <laughs> in pack one. But, uh, I mean, this is okay. Nervous Gardener is good. This is good if we go with green. Um, I mean, we've got to start making a decision. I mean, red has been pretty sparse. I mean, we could splash. But then again, we got that red herring, though. I feel like I'm going to take the Nervous Gardener. Like, I feel like the Bragger, you, you'll have another chance at that. The Bite, you'll have another chance at. Not necessarily the nervous gardeners and they could help with our splash if we end up splashing white or splashing uh, red so that'll work what do we got here there's another bite see they just keep coming this isn't bad for red I mean this is better in green um, I mean maybe green will be a little more open there's a lot of green in this pack so could go with this. I would like to grab a bite down, but I think I'm going to go with this right now and just hope we get more bite downs. <laughs> yeah, I do think... I do think um, green... Well, then, as, I, as I'm saying it, like, here, we're not getting, like, any white. Um, and here comes some red. Let's take Tunnel Tipster again. It's going to help us splash. It's a good card, actually. I do like Hellion a lot. Um, I don't think we need a second Sanctuary Wall. I do think Hellion's the best here. Because even if we don't play red, like we can still flip that. That's fine. Orangutan. <laughs> Another Gardener. You know, just when I think red's, like, gone, like, then you start seeing stuff like this, and you're like, hmm... It's a weird draft. I'll probably take another Gardener, though, here. 
there's a, a bite down on crime. Also Greenbelt Radical though, which could be a win condition. We also have this. Actually, a lot of good cards in this pack. Yeah, we'll take the Radical. Um, there's a White Flyer. We got another one of these, though, too. <laughs> hmm. Go with the White Flyer here. And just kind of see what comes in the next pack, I suppose. I guess this is playable for us. As is that. Not my favorite cards, but we do need some some disguise creatures, so. Playable. I mean green seems open. Red and white, I don't know. I feel like we're fighting. I feel like we're fighting for those cards. Okay, hide in plain sight. That is quite good. Um, there's a shock. There's a person of interest. Doubt those are going to wheel. So I say let's stick with the green plan here. Because that is, hide in plain sight is very good. Um, Karlov Watchdog is good. So is Loxon on uh, Eavesdropper. Galvanize also, even if it's a splash. I don't know. This is also very strong. No, this is a great pack, generally. Let's go with this. Alright. Another Hellion. That might be the play. I like Eavesdropper, but... I do think we need some bigger things on our side. I really like Goblin Mask Maker, but again, I don't know if we're red at this point. There's a bite down. There's red removal. There's another watchdog. I do think we need at this point, I think we do need the bite down though. So we'll take it. Um, huh, 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 huh. Stop your tokens. Another gardener. I don't know if we need another gardener. Got this. How many two drops do we have though? Maybe we do need another gardener. Yeah, because if we don't play red herring, then we just take it. Not much here. Of course, the kill is a good card, not in our colors. Um, I mean, we can turn this for white, so that might be playable. Another Hellion. That's the only thing. I mean, we could play this. But I think I'm just going to take the Hellion. Future Warrior. kill on that card. Oh, this is probably alright. <laughs> That's a late solid green card right there. I mean, green with some splashes I mean, could be a way to go. We might just, I don't know, we could splash red. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but we'll keep it on the table, I suppose. I think there's a deck here. We may have to look for it a little bit, but I think there's a deck here. 
Okay. The gardeners can make this work. Okay. Our white is like sort of sort of there. Um like this is fine. This could be good for us. This is fine. I mean, splashing red for a red herring is a little awkward because it's a two drop. And, I mean, you want that quickly. I mean, we're going to splash red for this. Speaking of which, let's just do this to start things off. And we'll look at that later. Okay. So we're going to herring I'm a little unsure about. We're going to keep the strength. We're going to keep the gardeners. We're going to keep the tunnel tipster. I mean, that helps us fix mana too. Um, that's a fine two drop. This is fine. We'll keep that. Because I think we really... We have Fnatic, we have this, and we have the bite down. Other than that, I think everything's a creature other than then this is kind of a creature, but the war leader's call. Um, and in plain sight also is pretty much creatures, really. Three of these, that's a little much. Um, Topiary can help us with color fixing, too. So first thing I think I'm going to do, we have a lot of creatures. Uh, let's look at our count real quick, as a matter of fact. 22 creatures. Quite a bit. So, I'm not thrilled with these. Like, we have a lot. Granted, they're three drops, so you gotta look at them that way as opposed to four drops. Um, but we do have a lot of four drops, so... And it's actually a six to turn it, which, yes, it can help. It can work as a removal spell for you, but I think, like, one of those is just fine. <laughs> um, I mean, in case, I guess we gotta think... We're gonna play a lot of creatures. So there could be a payoff there, maybe. I mean, this is potentially slightly awkward, but at the same time, I mean, it's a flyer. I think it'll be fine. And these five drops are okay. We don't have any others, so we probably should keep those. Okay, so we still have to cut... Our payoff for this, since we don't... I mean, we have some small creatures, but... We don't have a lot of things giving us multiple creatures other than this. And it is a one white. Which... We'll have to see exactly how many white cards we put in here. How many planes we put in here. Um, I mean, that probably could go without us like losing much. I do want to keep that... It is one white, though. What was that other blue card? The green-blue card, too, that I was thinking, maybe. It's a counterspell. I have another fanatical strength, but I don't know if that's necessary. We do want some bigger creatures to, to maximize those strengths. Um, we do have a lot of two drops, which is usually a good thing. Part of me is kind of like, what if we got rid of... I just want to see what this looks like. What if we got rid of white or red, other than maybe the Wanderer's Call? So we have green. And 
And let's say, for argument's sake here, I threw in the string. And I threw in these two. What did we really lose? Because I feel, I feel like the strength is a fine replacement for make or move. Um, we lost this flyer, which is these. Which we could still play. Flip cost of a white and four, right? Like, that's very achievable with what we have going on here. I could even splash black. Let's bring this back in. Bring this back in, maybe? It's powered two or less. I mean, it would help with all our gardeners and stuff that'll be sitting around. How many creatures do we have now? 20, still a lot. This seems like overkill for this card though. Let's take that out. Maybe take that one out too. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is awkward because it is a splash at the two spot. You kind of want this thing out early. But again, I mean, maybe that's okay because, okay, let's say I, let's say I want to swamp. Hang on now. Give me a swamp. And we're going to also want but basically to hit these we're going to be using our our uh, garden our gardeners and we're going to also lean on this um, a little bit here to like those are the cards that will get us through the early game. And then, like, later in the game, like, we should get access to this stuff. If the white is less of a splash... Because I don't think we need more than nine force necessarily here, right? So if this is just a real... We just go real light on white and splash the black and red... I think our deck can handle that. Again, it's all about the gardeners. I mean, and also this. The Topiary Panther. So, I think we can get there when we need to get there. We just don't want to waste too much time getting there. You know what I mean? Because this format does play so fast. some issues with my computer. Hopefully the stream is still live. <laughs> Hang tight. All right. I'll have to check and see if the stream is still running because my computer, my other computer, kind of froze up. I mean, nothing's gone haywire on me <laughs> and the other computer, but ugh.
says I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm alive. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't see the chat right now, though. Hang on, let me try to fix something here. Other computer completely froze up on me. Stand by one second. <laughs> Okay, now we got it working again. Good stuff. All right. Wonderful. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So where were we? We're going to play a kind of a risky deck here. You could argue you don't need the swamp, but I think it's fine. Um, let's try this. It's not tight like the deck we had last week, but I don't think it's necessarily horrible. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Whenever I draft a deck, though, I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> Until I play like a game or two with it, then I'm like, oh, this is a pretty cool deck. But I feel like we drafted well considering the circumstances so let's see what happens here okay i, I mean good good opening hand so i mean we do want to draw into some good stuff <laughs> but a good start well we'll have some, some some things that will work out for us here ah uh, let's go We're on the play, which is good. Mm -hmm. okay. some face down creatures would be golden. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking me. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. This always confuses me. What is the actual cost of this? Not the modified cost. less to cast, so it's because this kind of has to go. It's just one of those cards you can just simply lose to.
black and white. They'll have good removal. Probably want to put this on, put the counter on itself. Not enough. Four, five, six. Just clicking wrong. All right. All right, we need to start hitting some heat now. We're in trouble. <laughs> well, we're in trouble. You know we're going to hit it right there. We're going to hit the war leader's enchantment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if they... <laughs> They're holding back a... Uh, board sweep probably right like really they can't play anything for five I mean if we let's attack in let's see what they do I, mean, I guess they can just do this maybe that's their plan spot. I mean, just kind of spreading out our power going wide here. Uh, if, I mean, if they... Okay, that's fine. Um, I was going to say, if they had the board sweep, they wouldn't have triggered those tokens, so... It's actually pretty decent. I mean, we have, we've had an awkward hand. But we just kind of kind of hope our opponent totally awkward hand. I would assume they can get rid of this. I mean, we've already seen one piece of removal here. That could get awkward. damage. I mean, now we gotta worry about the board sweep a little bit. But, I don't know. I'm gonna play this. Oh, okay, that did it. Alright. <laughs> I mean, maybe that was over committing a little bit. Maybe we should have waited to see if there was gonna be a board sweep, but everything was fine. It worked out. Pretty decent game. And that was awkward. That was a really awkward draw. Like, we got those cards early on that helped us get that, that wanted us to play face down creatures. We got no face down creatures. <laughs> and we didn't even get gardeners for color fixing. But everything kind of came together. So, if the deck did that well with a bad hand, hopefully, hopefully when it runs away to show it, it'll be good. We're now eight wins in a row on the, uh, on the um, streams right now. So that's pretty cool. And seven wins last week. Getting there. Getting there. So, yeah, game one was interesting. Love to see how this deck goes.
<laughs> okay. We can land cycle. Man, this is such a heavy land hand, though. We are going first. I think it's a keep. It's not a great keep, but I think it is a keep. And whatever we draw here is going to dictate kind of what direction we go, I think. And they're off to a good start. I mean, okay. We don't have to commit to this yet. I could just play this. We might still just draw planes and then we have the Topiary Panther to decide, okay, sure, that's, hey, if you want to use that on that, by all means. <laughs> by all means, by all means. Okay, this gets interesting now. Because part of me is now like, well, maybe we just hold out, we don't use the Topiary Panther, we still have the Gardeners in our deck. Okay, that's fine. That is fine, that is fine. Hmm, hmm, here's the red. I hate not to play anything here. That was probably a mistake. I mean, I could have played this into that. Yeah, that's why it's a mistake. <laughs> I'm also one land away now from just hard casting that. Two from that. Alright, let's see what we draw. I'm not going to land cycle. I think we're going to need the board presence. Well, that's pretty awkward. Now do I land cycle? I don't think I can take another turn off. Alright. And this is why I hate splashing this format. Okay. Two. I mean, still, I can't bite down as well, but at least we have a blocker. Well, if we want to chomp, that is. Because the bite down doesn't even kill this thing. And <laughs> that's dead anyway. Yeah, the economy here ain't good for us. Um, we have to get some, some means to get rid of that 4 4 now. Like yesterday. Um, we can play a 4-4. Four, four. Well, I could do this. This is a thing, but this has ward, so I guess I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> We'll play that. If they can remove it, they remove it, I guess. I mean, they've run through a lot of removal already, so... Guess. Two blockers. 
many counters is this? Five or more. And we can't keep taking this damage. Been awkward. <laughs> and the awkwardness continues. <laughs> Ugh. Interesting. Well, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to find another way to remove. Gum up the ground. I mean, it's only a 4 4, four, four haste, unfortunately. But. And that is not it. Wow, we flooded out pretty bad. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But I mean, they have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 land sales. It was just our hand was awkward. It was anything. Three guns at eight. So that was a difficult one. Um, let me look at my deck again. I mean, we have three of these things. <laughs> We have that disguised creature. We have that disguised creature. We have that disguised creature. Like, I don't know. I, I'm a little surprised I had so much trouble hitting creatures. I mean, this situation was certainly awkward. I mean, maybe I just shouldn't have kept that hand. But, like, I look at our deck and I was like, where was our stuff? So, I don't know. We'll keep it as is. Hopefully, we'll have some better luck. Some better draws going forward. Because I don't think the deck's that bad. It's not, like, super tight. It's not like the deck we had last week. But, like, I feel like it should be fine. Like, that did not play fine. Okay. This is a good hand. We just need one land to get these gardeners working. And if we don't hit it for some reason... We can still play them as two twos. Not really what you want to do, considering the mana requirements here. Um, I mean, we could play one and hope we can get another one. Right now, I mean, there's nothing in our hand that says we need red or black, for that matter. So let me play one of these out. So we have board presence, and then. Hopefully we can utilize the other one. Good stuff.
it's either uh, feast or famine, isn't it, with these gardeners? Play this, it gives me a 3 3 death touch creature. I mean, the flyers are the real issue. We're gonna get hit with six in the air, probably. So, I don't know if maybe the better play is to just try to surprise. We have to play this to keep the four or five off our back. that then. Jeez. Alright. I guess we could have been at one, but... <laughs> yeah, no. That game wasn't being won, so... Alright. Well, we're about one and two. Not great. Not a great deck today. I mean, I could look at tweaking something again. Yeah, I'm just not really seeing anything that's making this much better. Let's go with it. 
if it um if we lose here we can probably play another game still be early enough Very similar hand here. Um, a little better, maybe, but opponent's going first, so we'll keep it. I mean, this time around, we can play this on turn two and maybe get some utility. We just have to draw again. We just have to draw land. We have some high end stuff, though. It's kind of gumming up our hand. At least this is a disguise creature. This is a disguise creature. So. <laughs> hey, they want to race, apparently, but... Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I'm not a fan of taking a turn off here. Let's just do this quickly. everything interesting, huh? We did not get a land, so I guess the question is, do we want to make sure we get a land by playing the Gardener? Or do we want to be more aggressive than that? I say, let's not leave anything to chance. What color do we want? I guess we just take the black. we should kind of be able to go off. Our opponent's stumbling on land, too, so... But they're doing a pretty good job staying even with us. take four here.
Hey, KOG, how you doing? Thanks for being here today. It's been kind of quiet in the chat. Not our best deck today. Um, we're one and two right now. A tougher draft. Last week went so well. <laughs> Hell of an hour. Well, we're 2-2 two two now. I mean, the deck worked better at that time. I mean, I guess when you get War Leader's Call out, you're probably winning. Nice to string together a few wins before we get our third loss. See how it goes. I mean, I kind of like the concept of this deck. Um, I just feel like its execution is a little random. It's You need things to kind of come at the right times. Like, when it comes to these green decks that can splash, there's some real good versions of those that you can draft. This is probably like a mediocre version of that deck. So. What can you do? Yeah, I can keep this. We want some two drops. Hopefully we draw them, but... We do have hide in plain sight. We have a three drop. So, close enough. There's a good two drop. Alright. <laughs> Market watch. Market watch. All right. Do I want to offer a trade with the market watch? Pro or I have to flip first. I have to end the turn first. Um. What's that? Draw a card. If you have no max map size, kind of sure. If you draw more than one card. Target creature. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. That's painful. Okay. So, and this is going to draw a card, I take it. Oh, it uh, investigates. Okay. Well, we can just lose all this stuff. cards that's a pretty good cloak there cloak and take the removal spell Did they not pop their clue? I thought they had two mana, didn't they?
pressure on. We're playing Murders at Carlisle Manor after all. That's what, 3 2 now? Alright. Alright. That is becoming a little more respectable. <laughs> a little more respectable. Playing better, too. Alright. Three wins. Three wins. Let's get another one. I don't want to go three and three. Let's at least get a winning record out of this. Yeah. We'll keep it. If we can get Red or Gardner or what have you, this could be good. Right on cue. Right on cue is the gardener. <laughs> the market watch. Imagine that. Market watch is out to get us. Market watch. Man. They're going wide quick. I'll give them that. the market watch. We can block that. Well, I don't want to lose my gardener. I don't really care if I lose this. And we'll see what they do. I mean, they might galvanize it or something. If they do, they do, I suppose. If not, well... We got good value out of the Gardener regardless, I, I guess. If we lose it in combat, but we can take a creature with it, plus we got the Mountain and the War Leader's call out, well, then that's what we did, I guess. Just the Market Watch, okay. creatures here now. I only have that in the graveyard. Boom. Boom. Um, they can make this a 4-2. Oh no, they can't. They need one more mana. Tag with the gardener, and if we lose the gardener now, we lose the gardener. Okay, they took the three. Okay, they want their creatures. They they may have a way to give everything, you know, plus whatever, plus whatever, and trample. Um, I know there's green cards that do that. How about red though? And there's this. Okay, that's fine. Kill this. We 
don't know what that is. This we know what it is. It's got the enchantment on it. We could two for one of them, take four, lose a well. Yeah. so bad. As long as we keep hitting and stuff. I could bite down. Let's say we bite down to get rid of that. This can become a 4 2. But if I do bite down, I can't really play anything else. If I bite down on that, I guess. I can bite down the detective. So next turn, even if we draw a land, we can draw another card and play this thing face down. We could play it face down and charge it if we really wanted to. Anything else here, detective? Okay, got there. Got there, got there. I wanted that one. That puts us now at 4-2. This deck's making a comeback. Playing it well. <laughs> well, last two games they got War Leaders Call. That's gonna help a lot. I mean, that's the thing. Like, we get that card out, we get out early enough. We're probably fine. Um, it's just that powerful. But if we don't, we need the other aspects of our deck to work, and that's where this thing's been kind of inconsistent ultimately. So now, if we lose, at least we'll have a winning record. We'll go four or three. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're starting to get into, you know, some good territory here. Another win. Okay, we start to become a little more respectable. We'll get there. We'll get there. I'm looking forward to... to um think the new set will kind of breathe a little more life. Yikes. Okay, yeah, we got them all. We got this. Um, now this is a good hand. We'll get rid of this. We want our lands. We want to be able to do Gardener. Hide in plain sight. War Leader's Call. Ultimate Lane's kind of... I think how we win this. Uh, okay, okay. Been nice to draw two draws, <laughs> especially against a deck like this.
gotta take it. I guess if they shock our gardener, we're done for, huh? Keep the gardener back as a blocker. Get war leader. Well, war leader's call online. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, we're already down to twelve though, and this deck's beat us down fast. All we can do here is just block something. We could stabilize next turn if we don't get hit too badly here. Okay. Interesting. There's the so, Okay, we're gonna more five, six, seven, eight. All right, no, that's great game then. Um. We just drew a little too land heavy. We needed like some two twos to just keep ourselves alive and it didn't happen. Very land heavy. Alright, that's game. Okay. Well, well, well. So we ended up going, what did I say, 4-3, which is, eh, wait a minute, one of our, actually our worst records since we've been doing the streams, <laughs> um, for, at least for Karlov. Um, eh, is what it is. Is what it is. We can open our packs, though. See what we got. Let's open, we'll open a few of these. See what the deal is. Cranko. <laughs> Ill-timed explosion. Hey, Sean, thanks. Thanks for being here both weeks, I appreciate that. Yeah, last week was awesome. The deck was awesome. Yeah, this week, the deck was awkward. <laughs> um, I feel like our draws were a little bad, though, too. A couple games, which I feel like this deck could have done better, but that is what it is. You know? um, that is yours. So, but it was still fun. It was actually kind of fun to play this deck. I feel like maybe it was a little too all-in on, on getting particular cards and getting things kind of in the right order. There's a Vanifar. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. So, I mean, it's still pretty early. Maybe <laughs> War Leader's Call. There you go. On that note, I'll stop opening packs. <laughs> um, is there anything else we can play here that's quick? I probably don't have time for another draft. What time is it? It's like after three. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, it's under the play tab here. <laughs> bot match starter decks that's probably not too fun to watch um doing some exploring this is a great place i need to build like a standard deck or something like standard, or really any format so like sets. days like today i could play something else limited let's just jump in That's like jump start. I 
play a game of Jumpstart. <laughs> There's one of these events. I have to build a deck, though. It'll probably take a while. For Ravnica. I am ready for Outlaws, though, I think, because, I don't know, I, I don't think people are, are interested, are as interested now in this set at this point. It's kind of old news, at least from a streaming perspective. We could play a game of Jumpstart. See what deck we get. Curious, like what? Like this is you. You can choose, so it's not random. Well, let's try it out. Let's see what it's like. So these are our choices here. So I guess I think I played Jumpstart a long time ago. Yeah, on here, and I, I guess they give you like three random choices and three random choices. Um. Battalion? Right, it's got Lightning Helix. Can't go wrong there, right? Let's go with that. Celebration. I guess they give you things that kind of fit your colors then. Is that how it works? Invaders. What's Celebration? Grand Ball gets, t gets plus one plus one and has tramples as long as two or more non-land permits enter the battlefield under your control. Resistance. It's like Convoke, maybe? Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> see what happens. So we can see our deck here. What do we got? So uh, murders and uh, Carlisle Manor cards. Well, not all, but a lot of them. Or maybe one deck was, and one deck was um, these. Dogwalker. Helix. Inside Source. <laughs> War Leader Skull. That's the theme for today's video. <laughs> well, yeah, if we, I guess we just get War Leader's Call out, and we probably win. I don't even need to read the rest of these cards. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Should be kind of fun, if nothing else. I have to try to play to at least get one win with this, right? <laughs> uh, this is kind of wacky. I liked, I remember when they first came out with Jumpstart, I did play it on Arena. That was a while ago. Um, and it was fun. I had a good time with it. So, maybe this will be fun. There's Stoke. I've never played with those invasion cards. So what does this do? Suspect it. Um, whenever one or more other creatures enters the battlefield under your control, if this is suspected, you may suspect one of the other creatures. If you do, it's no longer. Oh yeah, got it. So I can lose the suspect to one thing when I play it, if I choose to. Whenever. Another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control. Okay. There's War Leader's Call. We need a plane, though. Hmm. That might be worth it. Try to hit our planes. Can we get rid of here? Let's back up. That's not bad. A little more expensive, but like this probably isn't doing a ton for us. We can play it though. Probably just dump this because it's still a ways away. Maybe not terrible. But we 
do have a play next turn, I guess. We have a couple plays, actually. As long as this doesn't get away from us. Yup. Well, let's just take the beating. open to us but probably the better thing to do would just be play creatures or I could do both Makes you find it, okay. Four or five for a strike right now. One more removal spell, for sure. Really don't want to discard either of these cards.
lifeline. Yup. All right, we did it. <laughs> we got there, a little jump start action. A little war leader's call action. There you go. Well, I got something out of this. Just keep playing. I'm playing one more with this deck. It was kind of fun. I don't know. The jump start was kind of fun. It felt like it's like sort of like playing sealed, I guess, but like a little more, you know, a cross between sealed and constructed, but you know, more more on the limited side. I don't know. I, I always liked it. I think we talked about this last week in the stream. I feel like Jumpstart was kind of, um, kind of misbranded. Like the original Jumpstart, like the regular Jumpstart sets are a lot of fun. But when they started calling basically anything that was a beginner set Jumpstart, <laughs> I think that really kind of made everything really murky as to like what Jumpstart was. And people were disappointed when it wasn't what they thought it was. And, you know. Um, like Jumpstart and Jumpstart 2022 are super fun, but when they started doing the like, here's your standard set and here's the Jumpstart set that goes along with it for the beginner players, like that was confusing. They shouldn't have called that Jumpstart. They should have just called that something else. Yeah, it's it's not bad, Sean. Like I said, I played Jumpstart a long time ago on Arena and I had a lot of fun with it. So like, yeah, this is the same idea. Um, you know, newer cards, obviously, but I kind of wonder, like, and there's some pretty good, decent cards in here. I mean, they're, they're pretty fun to play with, so. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have a lot of time, especially, like, jump in, like, play a game or two. And you can keep coming back. You only have to pay once. And then, like, you can keep coming back for, I guess, a week, right? I think it goes on for, like, a week. Hmm, 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 hmm. Um, I gotta remember now. I'm not playing Murders at Carlisle Manor anymore, so I don't have to, like, race from the very beginning. <laughs> Gaining two life and playing two wind scarred, uh, scarred crags is probably good enough in the real world. When you're not in Murders World. <laughs> when you're in Murders World, you have to race, 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 race all the time. Okay. Well, might as well get this out. And now we have tons of options. It'd be nice to draw land, but if we don't, like... We got stop. That's not a land. But... I could do this. I could do this. Now we got a 4-4. Four, four.
Okay. Land would have been nice there. There's some weak three casting cost creatures. <laughs> I mean, well, they have back up, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I will say, I would really appreciate a land here. Should be attacking with this thing because I I'd have to take it. I guess I don't have to. I kind of have to. <laughs> but they keep playing stuff and then holding it back. All right, you are not a land. attack with this, try to get the land. Um, they could kill it if they want to lose, well, they'd only lose one creature. That's probably not worth it. If I lose that, they lose that. If I draw the land, that'd be cool, but I'm not that far off. You know what I mean? Like, if I draw like one land, I'm probably pretty decent because I can't play things fast enough anyway. It's up to my opponent to use. Oh, they have to scry too. Okay. I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, Magic Online. <laughs> or Arena. I haven't played Magic Online in forever. I need to do that sometime. Yeah, that's painful. Okay. I can block this if they, yeah, just block this. If they want to activate, oh, they can't activate. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yikes, where is our land?
backup creature, maybe. Flyer. Probably could be a little more aggressive, but at this point, because we are starting to pull ahead, but I don't know. I just want to play it sort of safe here. Because next turn we'll have some more options open to us. We can either play this, we can attack with this, this, we could use the wrench. We also have the double striker on the battlefield. Our opponent is down to five. They're going to have to start thinking about blocking. Okay, so that can get out of hand. So we probably just have to start doing some stuff. stuff. Um, this thing can be a four floor vigilance. All 
land has been really awkward. That was grindy. <laughs> but we were getting there. We would have made the Thopter. Well, the Thopter would have been two damage. It would have been down to one. Then we just would have had to play one creature the next turn. That was a slow game, though. Especially considering War Leader's Call was out, you would feel like the game probably should have moved a little faster, right? But at the same time, it was like, well, if we just got some lands like we're just like so how many lands do we end with five or six but um yeah like we didn't have many lands and we didn't get them early on so yep lost our connection um wonder if we lost the stream no it looks like the stream's still going reconnect no Well, <laughs> I was going to stop the stream anyway, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why that happened. Okay. Well, anyway, I um, just wanted to say thank you all for being here today. Jumpstart was fun. We had a good time, and our draft deck was cool. I felt like our yeah, our draws were a little, little off today, but like, I feel, um, I feel like the deck we drafted was okay. You know, like I said, it was like, those green decks that can splash can be quite good when you get the right draft and the right cards together. This was a mediocre one, and it played mediocre. We went four and three. It was, uh, you know, it, the consistency was an issue because a good deck, even if your draw, draws were a little questionable, you, you could still hang. That deck probably really couldn't most of the time, but when the draws were good, it was it did well. So it's just one of those things. Um, and the Jumpstart was fun to play. That last game was a little grindy, but <laughs> yeah, Sean is like, well, I guess that's that. <laughs> yeah, I guess, uh, I guess Magic Rain is gone, so uh, not much left to do. But anyway, thanks, thanks for being here. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, KOG, if you're still here um, for chatting. And um, yeah, we'll be back probably next week. I'll have to see what I'm doing next week. Like, um stay tuned i'll probably have a better idea probably we should be dra i'll probably friday again most likely because we still have a little time before at some point i do have to do the the gold patron channel member streams so um those will be closer to the end of the month but we have like another week before i have to think about that so probably just do a regular stream again next friday uh like we've been doing but thank you all for being here i had a good time i like playing a little magic so <laughs> anyway Thank you all, and um, trying to think if there's anything else before we go. I think that's it. Monday we'll be at, be back with another video um, for our uh, top or Tuesday. I'm sorry, Tuesday our top ten hot cards, Wednesday our top ten cold cards, and then probably Friday afternoon next Friday we'll stream again. So until next time, hey, thanks for being here. I appreciate you all. Thanks, Sean. You too. Have a great day. Um, again, thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting. It was quiet today, but I do think people are kind of. You know, murders at Carlisle Manor is getting a little, <laughs> a little played out. It's not, and I know it's not the best draft format. I like it. I have fun with it, but I know there's better draft formats out there. So anyway, have a great day, everybody. I will talk to you.